Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this satisfying loop in Blender. So let's get started. Hit Shift A, add a plane, go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a mesh line node. Put that here and Alt Shift click on it. Add an instance on points node. Set the offset on the Z axis to 1.02. Add a cube. Plug the mesh into the instance. Set the size on the Y to 4.12 and on the Z to 0.06. Add a transform node. Put that here. We also need a Z position node. Put that here. Add a mix node and plug the result into the offset. Now add a wave texture. Set the scale to 0.04. Set the distortion to 9.3. Set the phase offset to minus 2.5 and plug the color into A. Duplicate the wave texture and plug the color into B. Here set the phase offset to 2.5. Now set the factor here to 0 and open the timeline. I'm going to set the end to 150. And now keyframe the face offset here and here. By the way, make sure you're on frame 1 and also keyframe the factor. Go to frame 151 and here set the face offset to 2.5 now. Keyframe it. And here set it to minus 2.5. Keyframe it and set the factor to 1 and keyframe it. Now select these three nodes and make sure the plane is selected. Press A and T and select linear. Add a vector math node. Set the vector to minus 0.5. Now add a subdivision surface node. Set the level to 2 and for the cube let's set all of the vertices to 15. Make sure you're on frame 1 and keyframe the rotation of the transform node. Go to frame 151 and set the set to 360 and keyframe it again. Again, make sure the plane and the node are selected and press A and T and select linear. You can close the timeline now. Add a set shade smooth node. And let's put it here. Add a grid. Duplicate the instance and points node and let's use the geometry as the instance and plug the mesh into the points. Set the size on the X and Y axis to 39.6. Now let's set the vertices to 9. Before we create the material, add a store named attribute node. Put that here. Set it from float to color. For the color, I'm going to use a normal node. Put that here and plug the normal into the value. Add a set material node. And in the material properties, click on new and select the material. Let's save now and go to shading. This works in Eevee and Cycles. I'm going to use Eevee. If you're using Eevee, enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. If you want, you can go to color management and set the fuel transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. I recommend that you set the settings back to default before compiling the images. I'm also going to go to film and make it transparent. Go to rendered view. You can find a link to the HDRI that I'm using in the description. Add an attribute node and here let's type in color. Now if we plug the color into the base color, we'll get the color of the normal node that we plugged into the store named attribute node. I'm also going to plug it into the emission. Back in layout mode, let's add a camera and press Ctrl or 0. Hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go to snapping and enable face project. Now press G and Ctrl and I'm going to put it around here. Go into rendered view and select the camera. In the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty. I'm going to set the offset to 1 and the blades to 16. In the output properties, I'm going to use 30 FPS. Select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. If you want, you can go to render and enable lock interface. In the compositing tab, enable use nodes and press F12. Once the image is done rendering, close this window and press Ctrl Shift and click on the render layers node. Press Shift and right click and drag over here. Add a glare node. Set it from streaks to fog glow and set it to high. I'm going to set the size to 6. As you can see, I rendered a different frame now. That is because I'm going to add an alpha over node to change the background. Plug the image into the image on the bottom here. I'm going to make this blue. This is the hex code if you want to use it. Now let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.